What happening in Harrisburg these days it could affect you. The Senate today voted to block vaccine passports in certain situations and another big move by Republicans as they vote to end Governor Wolf's pandemic disaster declaration. Some measures that were part of that, however, will remain in place. And we do have team coverage on both of these big stories. Political editor John Delano will break down what regulations will stay in place. But we're going to start with Nicole Ford. She's live with what people are saying about the vaccine passport. Nicole. Kim, Senate Bill 618 clearly passed along party lines and is now headed to the House. Now, the bill's sponsors say requiring a vaccine passport is an invasion of privacy by the governor. As for, I'm sorry, as for the people that we talked to, they're also split on the issue. From events to just a walk in the park, people are feeling safer and getting back to normal. But are they all vaccinated? I think everybody should get it. I think it's an important part of getting past this pandemic and really just ending the deaths and all the tragedies. The state reports about 70% of the adult population has at least one dose. As life returns to normal, the question becomes, should places require proof of that vaccine? <laughs> I don't know. Like I said, I have mixed feelings. It should be considered. It could save a lot of people. It could bring awareness to a lot more things. So I think it's something that could be considered. Well, Senate Bill 618 just passed the Senate and is headed to the House. It would do the opposite. The bill prohibits government agencies and school districts from requiring proof of the COVID-19 vaccine. Consistency. I would like every, everybody to handle it the same way so that I know what to what to do. I can deal with it easier. If we do, fine. If we don't, fine. Robert Zimmerman says he feels safe regardless because he's vaccinated. But for Robert W. Martin Jr., it's a little different. He sees the value in a vaccine passport for his job as a limo driver. My job required international, you know, um, clients. And um, when you're dealing with people coming from all over the world, I didn't want to be a, a risk. The one takeaway from the people we talked to is the topic is worth a conversation, but most don't believe it should be a law either way. Over the years, more and more vaccines have been put on the list. Nobody's protested. Why is this one special? The bill is headed to the House's Health Committee. They reconvene their session on Monday. Now, if the bill were to pass the House, Governor Tom Wolf has said he will veto it. Reporting live on the North Shore, Nicole Ford, KDK News.